Hi friends, it's Nancy and I want to share the final flip through of Water Babies with you. Um, I guess I'll give you some measurements first, as soon as I find a ruler. <laughs> Why do I think of these things at the last minute? Um, so it's about six and a quarter inches wide by eight and a quarter inches long and the spine is two and a half inches across. So this is a, a hidden curved hollowback spine. And we have 10 signatures in here. And I'm not usually one who leaves threads, but in this case, it fit with the theme of the journal perfectly. So, um, Water Babies was illustrated by the same illustrator that did um, Alice in Wonderland, the original classic Alice in Wonderland um, illustrations. So some of the illustrations are a little bizarre, but that's okay, we went with it. Uh, so, here we are on page one, and this is the actual spine of the, the, the original book. I um, cut out the pic this picture from the jacket and adhered it over. It was a red sailboat, um, a, the um, trademark of the publisher, I think. And I've added a couple of little beads here and some of this leafy. I like to think of this as um, seaweed. Alrighty, let's just get a little comfortable here. So here's the color illustrations. These were the fly leaves. I saved this the fly leaf so I could co um, cover the inside and the back of the journal. And the front page is original to the book as well. Um, but the illustration that was here was a crying turnip, which was bizarre. <laughs> so I have um, switched it up with uh, this little Victorian image of babies playing near the water. On each page, um, f uh, sorry, on the first page of each signature, I have added this um, twine and leaf and hand sewn all of these beads and sequins and pearls and shiny bits. Um, this one has a little silver seahorse on it. And it looks really nice from the ed from the edge. I should should have showed you that. So it looks all leafy and there's that silver seahorse. This is a little turtle that has a blue stone. Here's some little um, green shell with a um, a little silver um, star starfish. Here's another starfish. This one has some gorgeous little blue gems. Add a little more sparkle. Um, I feel like there's another charm somewhere. We'll probably find it. So, um, these illustrations on the on the little um, clusters are fussy cuts from old children's books, um, but the the word snippets are from the original book. This is some vintage um, children's workbook, school workbook um, paper, beautifully uh, colored. Here's some coffee dyed ledger. These are book pages from um, a ladybird book that I've made into pockets. And again, I've added these little word snippets that are from the, the book. And then inside each pocket, I've added a postcard that has these vintage illustrations um, so looks like this was, um, 
illustrations that were sometime between 19, 1842 and 54. So I've just inked these up to um, sort of match them to the overall theme of the book. And I've sewn on a little bit of this um, loose weave fabric. And of course, it's so far away from me, I'm not able to put it in squarely. Um, here is a page from a vintage, well, it's a reprint of an old catalog and has boys. And I thought that was, that was a good image to go with this, um, this book. And here's another one of those pockets with, um, uh, word snippets and another postcard. There's, uh, there's going to be 10 postcards all together, so I won't pull them out of each and every one, but they're all different. Um, here we are in the second signature. Again, we've got clusters of beads. This is uh, an old ledger. Um, the date on this one is 1923 on this page. Here's a front page from a book about shells. And uh, this is um, babies. I thought water babies. Yeah, that makes sense. Here's some more hanging threads. Uh, here's an illustration of children playing at the seaside. And um, this children's book was 1961, the seashells book. And again, a little um, um, little piece of collage there, just to decorate this old ledger. Um, I love that it still has some of the numbers. Well, all of the numbers. <laughs> Here is a vintage Viewmaster Reel envelope. So there would have been a Viewmaster Reel inside it, but I've made it a little tag out of... Um, book pages and uh, this is from a vintage stamp album so we'll just tuck that back in there and put a little um, collage here of book page and a, another illustration that flips open and here is um, fussy cut seaweed and a tuck spot and I've just put a couple pieces of ledger there to uh, to use as extra journaling spots there's a lobster um, some more beads and uh, another piece of that children's uh, workbook, another envelope, I said I wasn't going to pull out all these, but come on back in there, you, um, Here's another little fussy cut image, collage. This is a fly leaf from a old atlas. And here I made this tag and uh, it's just adhered on the side of this short page so it hangs over and I've um, put that starfish on there. And here's a tag I made. It's got a um, a little bulb pin and um, some seam binding, but this is made out of old um, piano paper, pia player piano paper. And it just tucks inside that image. And nice fish. Um, here's a little um, altered paper clip. And I've just got that um, pinning these matching shells to it. And we're into the third signature. More of that antique ledger. Another little um, collage. A book page. Um, I can't remember where this came from, but I liked the, um, 
at, I think this came from a cookbook actually, or something like that. I can't remember. Um, local, like a local newspaper. Uh, see, it says Market Hotel, Berlin, Ontario. Um, so where I live now it used to be called Berlin, but they changed the name during the, the First World War. Now here it says 21 King Street at Berlin, Berlin. Um, it's just coffee dyed paper, more book page. This is really nice thick paper too. Very nice. There's the sea otter and some salmon. This is a um, music page uh, from a song called Ebb Type. And I made this little pocket. And uh, this is an illustration from the book that I colored in with watercolor paint. And I put it on a uh, green ledger paper. There's another pocket. Well, this is wonderful. Um, for tonight, Sailor Boy sets his sail. You would read this piano paper upside down. And there's some kids at the beach. There's a salmon. Another envelope. Here we have another... Uh, Um, altered paper clip. Yeah, what have I got over here? Oh, I've got another um, postcard. So I guess all together there's 12 postcards, not 10. There's 10 envelopes and then two that are, um, I better, I better look what I'm doing so I don't rip anything. Um, and two free floaters. Hmm. More illustrations from the original book. And uh, another page from that newspaper cookbook thingamajiggy. This, um, is some more of that ledger book page ledger. Here I've got another tag. Well, this is a um, an envelope made uh, that would have had extra buttons in it. In fact, it said extra buttons until I put this picture over top. Um, and I've tucked this little tag in here as a family at the seaside. And this opens up. And there's uh, some more kids. They've, they've got a crab there. I hope they're going to be nice to the crab. And that's a tuck spot. Here is a tag that I made um, out of vintage player piano paper and collaged on some um, a piece of old um, airmail envelope and a fussy cut of a starfish. seashells and here I've just made this little envelope or sorry little tuck spot and this is a another illustration that I uh, watercolored and just in a little extra bit there here is a paper clip and it has a couple of these little green shell pieces and uh, the silver starfish and that's to hold this little booklet in and inside this little booklet um, this is all made out of piano paper so this unwinds and inside is a vintage um, envelope and the date on that is 1927 I don't think there's anything in here no nope, there's nothing in here um, but it's from Montreal so that tucks back in there.
Come on. And um, it's all piano paper. And uh, I put this label and this little mermaid on it. Another envelope. This is a, another piece of vintage music paper, um, Beyond the Sea. And that's the cover of it. I thought that was a nice color. Just look how these leaves are cascading down there. Love it. And here's a little tuck spot. I just tucked a couple of um, little piece of ledger in there. Coffee dyed paper. Here's another little tuck spot with some shrimp. Another envelope. Here's a pocket I made with um, antique piano player piano paper. It says over the waves and and inside is a, a watercolor illustration from the book and I just stitched on this image I think it's a valentine um uh it's a reproduction but I uh, fussy cut it out of a book and it sewed it on there and um another piece of that um Fly leaf from the Atlas book page. I love the book page colors. They're just so muted and they go, really go well with this. Uh, ledger, winds blow, not a gale. This is um, piano paper. This is an image from a, a book and with a mom and a child on the beach. And uh, another collage. This is a transparency, and I just used some little um, jump rings to make this flip up so you could hide a note under there. Book page. And the last illustration, or sorry, is that. <laughs> that's the last illustration this is the last signature and this is um, manuscript script paper and I just went crazy with the beads on this one I just couldn't help myself another little tuck spot um, another envelope coffee dyed paper final envelope And on the last page, I made this slide, and you can just turn it out like that and see what the bottom of the shell looks like. And then turn it back in. And um, this tag is uh, a tuck spot. So I put this tag here so that I could ad um, adhere this to the page and keep this um, brad moving freely so and this is a, a, a postcard except I covered it with um, paper from a um, an old stamp album and this is an old stamp I like the colors the stripey piece of paper is actually the inside of that envelope so I've layered that on there stitched all around it did some fussy cutting uh, of this Nautilus shell and layered up a label and another illustration and that just gets I want to go in this way so you can read the word Nautilus and um, I already showed you the book bookmark so that is water babies um, not sure what I'm going to do next um, but I really enjoyed doing this um, a little bit of fuzz there on the fabric, <laughs> but these are the colors I was truly going after. The blues and golds and greens are just repeated all through this book.
So thanks so much for watching this video. Um, we'll talk to you again soon.